Hello, you lovely bunch. No respawns here. Hope you're doing well. So I've got a little bit of a different video for you today. In the fact is that I'm going to be um demolishing a build and then showing you part of it, how I built it. Because to us, the rest of the build is time consuming, but not very exciting. Uh, so what the idea of this is, this is going to be a red rocket cafe. Um, and the idea, I wanted it to look like this was a barn or something that's just laying here. And then someone's actually built their own little shack on top of it for security reasons. And they decided to open a little bit of a cafe inside. Uh, so the parts we're going to be using, um, obviously, are from the Adam store. So this is the new red, take your time, uh, red rocket uh, furniture. Um, as with any, um, when we get a bundle like this, I try and pick it up myself. That way you guys get to actually see a review of it as soon as possible. So you can judge whether you like it or not. To be honest, um, my favorite part is the lamp. I probably won't use the diner set very often and the cooler I might use anecdotally um, but if you are very keen to have this kind of stuff then obviously it's better to get the actual bundle itself but if I had to pick one thing I'd just pick up the lamp to be honest uh, comes with the stairs is the one unique item so you don't feel you need to pick it up though it is pretty um, the rest is pretty cool the cooler's grand because it'll obviously it will enable you to reduce the spoilage rate um, and it's a bit different to the fridge um, you can have both, in fact. Um, we are actually just south of Bolton Greens. This is my, probably, I think it's become my favourite building location. Uh, just because it spawns Gram. Um, it occasionally spawns, spawns other things as well. Um, and it's just such a nice little area. I loves it. Uh, right, so yeah. This took a long time to build. Longer than I normally would like in a video. Which is why I figured what I'd do is I'll just take the top part down and then rebuild it again. Because that's kind of the complex bit really. Um, weirdly enough, this little shack here was the part that prompted me to redo it because um, it was such an annoyance to put together. <laughs> um, for some reason, it just wasn't snapping right and I don't know why. Uh, so yes, this is... Um, I'm quite pleased with this actually. Um, I started building this last night. Um, I've recently gone back to working in an office. So I've been working from home, so I sort of misjudged how long it would how much time I needed basically. Normally I start my builds in the afternoon, but obviously I, by the time I got home and started building, I didn't have enough time to finish it. Uh, so anyhow. Oh yeah, I have to take it from this side. So it's quite, uh, it was quite a fun one this. Let me leave those ones on the corner on just to save us some time. And we'll go through the core elements. Come here, get off. Come here, back off. That's weird. That's strange, it wasn't letting me take it off. How utterly bizarre. Right, okay. So what we do is we build this part first. Uh, so again, I don't need to show you building this part because I'm just literally putting foundations on. Uh, the main course of concern was that I needed to raise and lower these. So when I'm doing this part here, uh, the important thing is then you put the staircase on, which I naturally always forget where the stairs. The stairs isn't the weirdest location ever. Um, annoyingly, I would really have liked it if we could snap these on, but these need to be part slotted into the ground. They they can't be unfortunately they have to be snapped to a foundation. They can't be snapped to a floor, which is a real shame because a slightly wider staircase would be nice. Um, but I used the um the this one. Um, so I pop that there like that. And the important thing is you need to make sure it's actually sheer to the roof. So I've obviously have got this part here, which I'm going to immediately replace with the one it actually uses. And then I've got these here, like this on the outside. Like that, and we're going to do this. Now, before you start kind of committing to actually doing the upstairs structure, you need to double check that you've raised everything the right height. See, I know, because I've already done it already, if I snap these on, they're perfectly sheer to the floor. So if I the roof rather so I go inside they're not poking through the top and that's the part that takes a while because what you then need to do is if it's too high so it's um there's a gap or if it's too low you have to take the stairs down and you have to lower the foundation up and down now the easiest when you're lowering the foundation down I can't do it because obviously I have to make redo that is I want to take this one off so this one is freestanding 
and then I can slightly raise it up. If it's a bit too close to the one here, it'll start trying to snap into place. It's also handy to remove your walls here because they might interrupt with your snapping. Right, so let's go back to... Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know what it is with the stairs. Um, It's the one place that always just muddles with my brain. Right, so let's get into this part here. So now we've got these on. So we want to do the outside ring first. Like this. Make sure those are facing the right way. Yeah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That is the wrong one. Is it? Is it? Have you facing that way? Face right way, cool. Um, and then we're gonna snap. So on the interior, so I want some interior support and then I want some exterior support. Um, with the interior, I don't have to worry too much about where these pillars are snapped. They're just spaced out in a in attractive um, pattern. Um, you wanna you wanna do this first because you can't obviously snap these on when you've got a floor on the inside. And always pay attention. Uh, these will always snap in the direction of the long ways of the floor. So currently they're facing it. Um, I'll show you when I do the exterior posts, uh, just cause where I position the floor will um, determine which direction. It's one of those little things that you might not realize and then you'll end up spending ages doing. I if I that way, I solved this right before. Right, so obviously we want some supports on the exterior as well. Now, spoiler, I actually already, I can already snap them in if I want. I can actually just pop them on here like this if I was so inclined. However, obviously getting them on the corner like that is an issue, and I always make a point of showing this technique each time. So those pillars always snap, as you can see, in kind of the middle parts. They never snap on the corner because that would be too simple and straightforward. Uh, so what you do is you, with your floors like this, you get an upper floor and you place it on the side like that. So then it forces the snapping point to be there rather than there see and now it's actually on the corner uh, very cool uh, most of you know this because i show it off all the time but I, I think it's important to uh show it off in case this is the first video of mine that someone has seen uh, but obviously because i've already deliberately sneakily left these posts on the side i don't have to spend ages putting them back on ha 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 see thinking ahead and then the same with this part here. Um, and then we still got this one on the side here as well. So I need to pop these pillars off. Because obviously we want a little bit of support here. Pop. Yeah, see, by this point, when I did it originally, we're like 17 minutes in. <laughs> we're only now seven. Uh, sometimes just how to make a slightly shorter video. Um, I'm going to have it how I did before because I quite liked that. Cool. So again... Um, I've already got the post on there, but basically would snap it on the corner. But obviously, because I've already got the post on there, I can just snap them on here like that. And see, I've already got these. Um, whenever you snap them so they're going through walls like this, you have to take the walls off first. Um, because, uh, obviously they'll get in the way, but then you can kind of quite comfortably snap them straight back on. Um, and they will never snap in between two foundations, but you can get them to snap on the corners. So if I, um, yeah, we go probably, ah, yeah, so basically I'd be able to snap it here and then go down through the foundation, but it wouldn't be able to snap there just as a, like, go, I wouldn't be able to snap it any way further down. Right. Uh, so now we've got that part done. Let's do the little shack. Yeah, this was really weird. Um, and normally I'm very good at figuring out the internal logic of why something isn't letting me do something. Ah, oh, it's now letting me do it. See? <laughs> Why didn't they let me do it before? I was unable to snap something there. It just literally, I, I spent about eight minutes in my last video trying to snap something there, and now it just lets me do it first time. Fuck my life. Um, <laughs> literally, I was just like, oh, I was so stupid. Oh, um, right. Like well, that, just instantly. Oh, yeah, now it's going to have a bit of awkwardness. You think you're clever, don't you? Well, guess what? I'm smart. I might be smarter. Look at that, I am smarter. Right, there we go. So that thing literally took me stupidly. Look, <laughs> just... 
<sighs> Stupid. I was getting really angry as well. Okay, so let's pop these on here like this. Um, I've got so many railings. My budget is massively packed out because I deliberately haven't scrapped stuff. Because uh, I'll probably use most of it for my decoration. Right, yo. I have no idea why it wouldn't let me put that door on. I'm a little bit annoyed. Alright, anyway. That looks lovely. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's put these over here like this. Right, there we go. See? That all that alone took me ten minutes, and that's without me uh, spending ages realigning all the stuff. So as you can see, like just looking at it now, like the contrast between the kind of really rusty um, actual, you know, main structure, and then this bit on the top, it, it does look like it's been built on top, which is quite cool. So let's do a little bit of showing you the actual furniture itself. Um, I'm gonna move that that way, that, that. I don't know why I have a second generator up here, oh, that's strange. Um, so the actual furniture itself, sometimes, some of it, some of it's a bit just hard to find. Uh, so here are the, the booths, which are pretty neat. Um, and then you've got... Um, some stools, which I think are here, um, which are actually really quite nice. I can kind of see these getting some use. I'm obviously going to place them and actually have a little bar inside here in a sec, which is quite nice. I think that's... Oh, and there's this one. Oh, no, it's in this two. Yeah. Um, and then we have... And these are really annoying. Right, everyone. So, cutting back, I just cut out a little bit of video because it took me ages to find these. So, the parts I'm looking for, the red rocket bar, are actually in floor decor for some weird ass reason, which is why I couldn't find them. Um, but yes, I guess because they're, you know, for decorating the floor, but it just, it just seems that they would be in tables. Um, but anyway, they're in floor decor. Um, if you're trying to find them, I will have to edit that part out because it was literally about six minutes of me dicking around. Uh, these are pretty good, actually, um, because they snap together, which is helpful because you don't have to worry about them being... Kind of, I don't know why they do that though. That's a bit strange. I can see myself making little corner bars, um, and they're pretty neat. Uh, they look very, very nice. They're quite stylized. I can kind of see this in a kind of like little quirky little bar area. Obviously, because it's meant to be for a bar. I have a wee poster behind it. That kind of stuff. Just gonna let me put it there, are you? That's random. Oh, is that one separate from the others? How rude. Do I have a Nuka Cola one? There we go. Looking very, very nice. Um, and they're pretty neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, let me show you the fridge. I haven't even seen the fridge yet. Where's the... And the lamp. Oof. Look at this. Oof. I don't remember getting that one. Oh, <laughs> I must have got it with something. So here's the cooler. Um, which is neat. And then let's go to the lamp. Lamp should be in this section. At the end of here. Yeah, it should be. Oh, that's a good lamp, that. How much energy does it give? I mean, not energy, light does it give. Oof, that's a good lamp, that. Uh, right, yeah, so I'm going to disappear now and decorate this. Make it look very, very fancy. Um, and then we will do the full tour. One more. And we are done. It looks cosy. So it's getting on the evening as well, because I wanted to actually, you know, obviously show off the lighting, because it's quite warm. Uh, but I'm quite pleased with how it looked. Also, I had Graham. Uh, I think he's wandered off, actually. But I did have Graham spawn while I was here. I think just being around here, especially if you log back in and just hang around for a little bit, do stuff, he will probably turn up. Uh, so this is a great place to have your base. Um, quite fun. The, the, the new old Nuka-Cola Quantum sign, which I don't know how often comes on, fits perfectly on the uh, uh, the Wastelanders Quest Chain sign you get, which is pretty grand. Um, so yeah, it just looks, it looks cosy. It's a nice little cafe, this. Um, I'll show you my shack a little bit. I've also got... Um, uh, the ally punk wandering around. I sort of like the idea actually kind of in my little head cannon. This is actually his house, not mine. Um, which would be pretty neat. So here is Zui Cafe. It's quite nice. Um, I could obviously add a more direct decoration, but I didn't want to get too carried away. Mainly because I do have Jeff to render this video. Um, my little romance section in the corner. Honestly, I just wanted an excuse to use that balloon because I'm probably never going to use it ever again. Um, 
I really, really like the lighting here quite a lot. I decided um to not use any fancy wallpaper or flooring because I wanted this to look like a shed that had been turned into a little cafe. So yeah, I'm quite, quite pleased with how it looks. It's very cozy and nice. The lighting just looks absolutely lovely. I really, really like uh, those new Coca-Cola bottle lights so much and I'm glad they added them. Um, got my little area here, deliberately breaking up the space with just random bits of decoration. I quite like doing that. You probably noticed that before. Um, I've hidden a little bit of a crafting area under here. Uh, make a little bit of use of the space. I need to push that box back a little bit. There's my boy right there, just, you know, on the airwaves. Got a wee area here. Little guitar. I like my shack as well. I didn't put a door in it because I'm actually, the door would get in the way, so there's no door on this. Um, but it's just quite... Got my boy Prince down there, which I really dislike the fact he's in such a tiny little jar. He's a big boy, he needs like an old tank. Um, maybe head cannon wise we let him out now and again. Um, but yeah, no, very, very nice. Quite a nice little set this, actually. Um, when I first saw it, I, I thought I wouldn't use it very much. But honestly, I can see myself kind of, for example, and it popped in my head and I might do it in the next one, is where I've got this little vendor section here, which I like to kind of decorate. Make a little bit bigger, like say two platforms, two foundations wide, and you can have the vendor plus a little bit of a dining area nearby. So there are possibilities to just kind of add it as a bit more of a nicer social area in your build. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys liked that and gave you a few ideas. I quite like the idea of building on top of what, in my mind is a pre-existing structure because it just adds a little bit of a you know nice change with the textures and it's fun to kind of play around with things as well as how structurally sound this looks um as always follow me on the, um follow me on twitter at no respawns i will have more videos up soon i'm trying to do as i said non fallout videos did the command and conquer which is quite fun um so expect to see other bits and pieces. Now that I'm back at the office, finally, my structure's starting to slowly creep back in. Uh, so, yes, hopefully that is good si signs of good things. Um, and also, I should be getting, I believe, soonish, the first of the updates for uh, the the new progression for challenges um, and the seasons. So that should be quite interesting. So once that actually we get more information on that, I will obviously show you guys. But until the next video, guys, you take care.